In a remarkable turn of events in September 2023, Ireland recorded its largest ever cocaine haul on the cargo ship MV Matthew during a significant operation. The discovery of an enormous 2.25 tons of cocaine led to a thorough investigation. This operation not only captured nine suspects, but also involved extensive questioning of the vessel's 25 crew members. The investigation revealed intricate connections between the stash of cocaine and two of Europe's most notorious criminal factions, the Kinahan Cartel and the Scottish Mafia. These revelations highlighted long-standing ties that some analysts have equated to the Kinahan Cartel being the Irish mirror to the Scottish Mafia, an analogy that underscores the depth of their criminal alliances. In this video, we will uncover the dark intricacies of a formidable criminal alliance. Welcome to the Pursuit of Perpetrators channel, where I unravel the veiled tales of cryptic crimes. Over the last 20 years, Christy Kinahan, along with his sons Daniel and Christopher Jr., and their heavily armed associates have expanded their unlawful empire from Dublin to exert influence over a significant share of Europe's cocaine market. Their operations have diversified into arms smuggling, cybercrime, extortion, and money laundering. They now cater to a varied clientele that includes Mexican cartels, Asian jihadists, and recently the intelligence services of Iran. The Kinahans have ventured into military technology and aircraft trading, cementing their role in a complex web of illegal activities. They have become crucial intermediaries, bridging South American producers with European markets. Their tactics closely mirror those revealed during the seizure of a cocaine shipment off the coast of Cork, where the Kinahans worked alongside the Colombian drug cartel, El Clan del Golfo. Although there are hints of the Scottish mob's involvement in overseeing the European segment of this operation, the Kinahan cartel's links with organised crime in Scotland complicate the investigation further. A noteworthy figure, Sandra Vaughan, Daniel Kinahan's associate and former CEO of MTK Global, a boxing firm connected to Daniel, has ties with Scottish drug trafficker Kevin Kelly. As more layers of this complex network are exposed, the deeper entanglements between the Kinahan cartel and Scottish organised crime become apparent. Initially, Kevin Kelly and the Kinahans entered into a business partnership in a Marbella construction project, but this relationship escalated to criminal heights with the uncovering of a foiled kidnapping scheme in Spain. At the same time, the US Department of Treasury has accused the Kinahan gang of employing the Glasgow-based vodka brand Nero Drinks as a facade for laundering drug money. Managed by Johnny Morrissey with his wife Nicola as the main shareholder, Nero Drinks seemed harmless, yet master complex reality. Deeply entrenched in organized crime and dubbed the Kinahan's principal financial handler, Morrissey was arrested in September 2022. His arrest led to the dismantling of Europe's largest narco bank by Spanish authorities, known for its widespread money laundering activities. Morrissey is alleged to have laundered approximately 300 million euros annually from drug profits, adeptly transferring these funds into cryptocurrencies. A detailed investigation highlights the Keenahan cartel's deep penetration into Scottish society, using it as a conduit for laundering the proceeds of their criminal activities. In Glasgow, the criminal landscape is dominated by two feuding families, the Daniels and the Lyons, involved in over 70 territorial disputes as they vie for control over Scotland's drug trade. Particularly notorious, the Lyons family has been implicated in a range of criminal activities, including drug trafficking, extortion, violence and organised crime, securing their position as one of the most formidable criminal entities in Scotland since the 1990s. Originating from modest beginnings, their rapid expansion has broadened their reach across several territories and countries, with operations now spanning the United Kingdom, Spain, and the United Arab Emirates. For over two decades, the Lyons family has been embroiled in a lethal conflict with the Daniel family, another notorious criminal group based in Glasgow. This enduring feud, spanning more than 20 years, has involved multiple shootings, some of which have been fatal, while others have narrowly missed being deadly. The rivalry has also seen firebombings, knife and machete assaults, and continuous drug trafficking operations. The hostilities commenced in the summer of 2001, when the Daniels clan lost a significant amount of cocaine from a residence in Milton, which ended up with the Lions Gang. Perceiving a threat to their territory, the Lions responded with force, igniting a conflict that has drastically altered the criminal landscape in the area. One of the most significant incidents was the dramatic ambush at Apple Row Motors in Lamhill, Glasgow, in December 2006. Linked with the Daniels, Raymond Anderson and James MacDonald launched an attack on a garage owned by a member of the Lions family, resulting in a fierce and brief encounter. Tragically, the clash led to one fatality, while two others, including the future Lions leader Stephen Lyons, 
narrowly escaped death. Anderson and MacDonald were subsequently arrested, tried and imprisoned. The conflict escalated with the assassination of a prominent Daniels member, Kevin Carroll, known by the alias Gerbil. Carroll's early interactions with the Lions, who bullied him during their school days, pushed him towards the Daniels, earning him the notorious title of public enemy number one. In a fatal twist, Carroll was ambushed in 2010 while sitting in his car in a supermarket car park. Masked gunmen swiftly fired into his locked Audi, killing him instantly in an attack that lasted only 25 seconds. The investigation later pinned the attack on Billy Peterson, a key Lions figure who was convicted and sentenced to life imprisonment, marking a significant moment for the Lions gang. After the 2006 shooting, Stephen Lyons fled to Spain, where he reportedly established connections with the Kinahan cartel. This alliance revitalized the Lyons family, bolstering their role in the territorial dispute and providing the Kinahans with a valuable channel for drug distribution in Scotland. Lyons further cemented this relationship by moving to Dubai, which coincided with notable growth and consolidation of power within the Lions gang by 2016. The dynamics within the criminal underworld experienced a critical shift following the death of Jamie, the Daniels family leader, from cancer. This loss significantly changed the balance of power, favoring the Lions. This shift was underscored by a spike in violence in 2017, including a brutal attack on Stephen Bonzo Daniel. In May 2017, after fitting a hidden tracker to Daniel's car, the Lions initiated a high-speed chase that ended on an off-ramp, culminating in a vicious assault. The altercation intensified when Stephen Daniel was violently attacked with knives and machetes. Remarkably, he survived the severe assault. In the court proceedings that followed, Stephen Daniel refuted any ongoing feud between the Daniels and the Lions, with both factions preferring to keep their disputes away from legal scrutiny. However, despite police efforts through Operation Engagement to quell the violence, the conflict continued, leading to further casualties, arson and assaults. Additionally, the cracking of EncroChat's secured servers was crucial in disrupting criminal activities during this volatile period. A notable episode involved Glasgow's drug lord, Darren Collin, also known as Big Papa, who was highly regarded in criminal circles in Costa del Sol, Dubai and Dublin. His strong ties included connections with both the Lions Gang and the Kinahan Cartel. Big Papa's operations in Scotland were even admired by senior members of these criminal networks. He was sentenced to eight years in prison after police decrypted his phone, revealing his involvement with a stash of heroin and cocaine worth 1.3 million euros and a significant sum of money. The relationship between the Scottish criminals and the Keenahans was further cemented through Robert Kelby, linked with the Lions Gang. Kelby was instrumental in establishing a gym in the Canary Islands, connected to the Kinahans. Despite surviving three assassination attempts, Kelby is often seen with Tyson Fury, who has ties to Daniel Kinahan. This close-knit collaboration between the Kinahan and Lyons families strategically enhanced their illicit gains through a series of violent acts in Scotland. However, with the Irish mob now featuring on the US Most Wanted list, the Kinahans have begun distancing themselves from various affiliates, including the Lions. This distancing renders the Lions particularly vulnerable, especially given the $15 million bounty on the Kinahan cartel. The heightened scrutiny has refocused attention on Scotland's criminal underbelly, with Glasgow notably holding the grim record for the highest number of drug-related deaths in Europe. The ongoing strife between the Lions Gang and the Daniels clan has already turned Glasgow into a nexus of criminal operations. This precarious situation could be exacerbated if the Keenahan cartel decides to cut off ties, potentially disrupting the supply of high-quality narcotics to the Lions. Such a development might plunge Scotland's criminal milieu into even deeper turmoil. Share your thoughts and feedback in the comments section below. If you found my investigative analysis insightful, please be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the Pursuit of Perpetrators channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon too, so you'll get notified each time I release a new video. I appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Until then, stay curious and keep seeking truth.